right here after this we'll have a new sliver padding and inside this we'll have head tabs so let's go ahead and write sliver paddings over here sliver paddings all right okay now inside this we'll have this padding section but of course for padding itself uh, we can just give any kind of padding now over here we we'll do edge insets and uh, let's see edge insets dot symmetric and uh, inside this we'll have vertical and horizontal so here we we'll do vertical 0 w and horizontal 0 w okay and after this over here we'll have sliver and inside the sliver actually we'll have our child and our child would be a custom widget now we know that inside sliver padding custom scroll view actually if you want to use any kind of custom widget you can't you have to actually do that using sliver to box adapter so that's why here we'll introduce sliver to box adapter widget so let's go ahead and do that sliver to box adapter all right and after this over here we can have a child and our child would be had tabs but of course this child this widget doesn't exist and now one more time why we have this sliver to box adapter because this would be a, a custom widget which would return a widget like container like widget or sized box widget or boxed widget now boxed widget you can't directly put inside this slivers so for that reason we're going to cover this using sliver to box adapter so what it will do it will actually convert you can understand like this our this widget to like more like a slivers one of the slivers using this sliver to box adapter so using sliver to box adapter internally the changes happen so that they align together anyway so now let's go up and at the top we are going to declare our widget and here we'll have widget and we'll call it uh, head tabs yes and then we'll return a container all right, and with this, our error should be gone. All right, but of course, we don't have anything, but we'd be seeing, we will see that it's very visible. How can we do that? Here, we could give it a height, say 70, and uh, with like, say, 300, and we can give it a color, and here we do colors.red. All right, let's save it so here we see this one but now over here if we don't really use a sliver to box adapter and uh, you take this out and put it like this you'll see that we'll have errors you can't do it like this Now, now it looks like it's going to work, but here if you restart your app, actually you will get error. So let's go ahead and see that. Now here you see already we have this error. Now that's because we were not using sliver to box adapter. Now here it says that like a render sliver padding expected a child of type render sliver, but received a child of type render constraint box so this is actually box type widget but this is sliver type widget so this is render box this is render sliver so you can't use them together so you have to transform it to a sliver widget using sliver to box adapter so hopefully it makes sense and next time you want to use a widget inside so next time you want to use a box type widget inside slivers then you have to wrap it around sliver to box adapter hopefully it makes sense all right now we're going to restart our app one more time and this arrow should be gone okay great 